What's up, everyone? I just wanted to take a second to show off this new YubiKey 5C NFC authentication key that I received. Um, it's USB-C, so it works in my MacBook. Um, I have another one plugged in right now. Um, and here's, here's the website. If you go to the, the actual product, it shows all of the services that it supports. Um, so you can use it as a two-factor authentication instead of receiving a text message or using something like Google Authenticator to have that two-factor authentication, you can um, instead use this key and you, you just touch it and kind of prove you are who you say you are because you have the key um, and it's attached, it's plugged into your laptop. So um, here are some of the services. You have some password safes like 1Password, LastPass, um, there's some social networks, there's some um, SSO platforms that you may use for work, things like that. Um, but today I was just going to show a quick example of, of Coinbase being used. Over here I'm logged into my Coinbase. You can see right now I'm using Google Authenticator um, to act that multi-factor authentication, but down here you have an option for security key and they, they actually recommend um, See a text message, moderately secure, Google Authenticator, secure, and then a security key is, is very secure. So um, if I click select, there is a warning here, um, sort of just letting you know that it doesn't work in their mobile app yet, which is actually unfortunate. Um, I tried this earlier and I basically can't log into my mobile app. Once this is enabled, you have to use a, a mobile browser instead and just log into the website. Um, and that's unfortunate because you, with this, because it's NFC, um, you actually don't need to even plug it into your phone. You can just hold it up to it. You hold it up to the back like this and it, it vibrates to kind of show you that it knows you have the key and it would, would allow you to prove it that way. But because Coinbase doesn't support that factor yet, um, it doesn't currently work, but so I'll just go through showing, setting this up because I don't have to use the Coinbase app. Um, 329, two. All right, so it has me insert my security key, which I've already done. Can, so now it's asking you for permission. Um, it says insert your security key and touch it. So I just touch the center part and then um, it basically asks you if you want to allow it. Coinbase wants to see the make and model. So you say allow. And just like that, it's enabled. You can see it gave this success. And then down here saying it was registered. Um, and then you can actually add multiple security keys. I have the second one that I'm going to be giving to someone else. But um, if you wanted, you could require multiple. So if for, for some reason you lost one, you could use multiple. I don't currently own enough Bitcoin to make that really worth it, but um, I will probably be going through. I'll definitely be setting up for my Google accounts and things like that. Um, maybe even my social networks. Again, it probably depends on if the mobile app supports it. Um, some of them, if, if it prevents me from using the mobile app, I probably, probably won't, but things like my GitHub. Um, what else do we have on here? I saw AWS and Google Cloud. So Auth0 Auth is interesting because um, a lot of applications use that as their authentication process. Um, but I assume you'd have to use that to, like the service using Auth0 would have to set it up. But yeah, so that's just a quick overview of the YubiKey uh, 5C NFC authenticator key.